Hello all, uh, it's the second time I'm recording this, um, so I will go quickly through it. Let's say you want to train a unit, so the first thing to do is to is to go to, to find the repo or to implement yours, but I guess if you have a level to implement yours, probably not watching this video. Um, oh, there is a package on you one month ago okay whatever so you uh, clone this repo and then you install the requirements that you can install by hand too because there aren't that many and they are all normal requirements I mean nothing uh, weird um, and then you can run this but this is to download the data so the data is from a competition called Carvana um you can either download it by hand and put it in the right uh, folders let me just go here so in data you will have a folder with images in our case 6000 almost images and uh, the mask uh, folder and they are named the same they just have this underscore mask added to the mask images and to download them we can go have a look so you you need to be uh, th they use the kaggle uh, util <coughs> so you can pip install it uh, this way uh, but for that you need to go to the carvana pay dataset page you need to accept to go to the dataset accept the conditions of the competition and then you can use then you you need to get the key that you put here so in this uh, hidden folder and then you put this uh, kaggle.json it's basically it has your username plus your api key this way um, or you can run this script and follow the steps and then what i did was to run this uh, comments one by one so it basically downloads data set and zips it copies it deletes everything that's not necessary and it does the same for the masks one other important thing is to have your uh, masks in um, a palletized way so let's uh, let's open so in our case in, in our case the images here are already in a palette mode but what it means is that you should have one color per category per segment so per uh, layer you want to segment um, even if you have a black and white image you might think that I you just need to binarize it but not only do you need to binarize it but you need to palletize it because uh, if I p low convert l type to p type i think it's p type <coughs> sorry um so you can convert it by using the convert function so i need to go convert and this here it's explained um, and as soon as this is done you can run so I, in my case i deleted every wonder uh, uh, one db one weight and biases um, code and you can run the training one thing i w quickly wanted to show you but i will make a video about uh, that is the tools i'm using so you can use nv top to check uh, how is your gpu doing you can install that uh, you can just google nv top um, and there is a github account with the steps to install it 
so you can see that the GPU is used at 100% and the memory is quite used to. We will stop the training. <coughs> One other thing, and you can see, I, I think you can even kill from here. Yeah, you can kill F9, you can kill the, the processes from here, uh, which might be useful from time to time. Uh, one other thing I wanted to show you is that uh, so you saw that the images have a suffix named uh, mask So here when it loads the images using this basic data set there is this parameter named mask suffix and Here when it gets a caravana data set it it gets the so this is, I, I started from here and then went into the uh, data set loader here. And then it goes through here and then it adds this suffix that gets saved in this variable. Where is it? Here that's being used here. So whatever the name of the image, it adds a suffix and it loads whatever format there is. So in our case, it's a GIF. And uh, basically that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. I wanted to show how I debug this too. So if I run this using F5, I can use the small debug button here. <coughs> I need to to run. Oh, Control Shift P, Python select interpreter, and then LDM, because we our environment is the I'm using is uh, LDM is called LDM, and then you go to the main file and you can from there F5 it will run and it will stop here and then you can have a look at this variable for example I can just have a look at it here or have a look at it here so it's in the global variables torch here you can see the call stack so wh whatever is being called and here I think if you go to train no so you see train get item we are in get item here and maybe there is an in between no this is even higher you can uh, go through your code like this and observe the variables i think in my case it's here it should be somewhere here maybe in this self here mask suffix and you can even edit it uh, that would break the training but if you are done just click f5 oh why, why do i have this and it sh should start uh, doing its thing so i will make a video about the tools i use on a day-to-day -day basis and see you there